Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your reading. This reading is Who Wants to Heal with You. I'm going to pull four different personalities and stories and these are all people who are coming in that truly desire and wish to heal with you as Sagittarius. Um, I have combined the court cards from four different tarot decks so I can get a wide range of different personalities and energies. Um, I'm also opening this reading up to passed on loved ones so if a particular personality and storyline fills that of a passed on loved one um, you can go with that and I will pull additional cards for that, um, this could, you know, anybody could come through this reading, um, a friend, a family member, a romance person, you know, just whoever truly desires to heal with you as Sagittarius. So let's get started and see who would like to heal with you. And now you can resonate with one of these or two or maybe all four of them, all right? Okay, first out is the action of ego energy. So this um, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, um, but that's this is strong air energy, and this could be male or female. And this is somebody's energy who doesn't feel super mature and experienced. So like 30 years of age or younger, um, you know, doesn't have to be it's just that their maturity it doesn't feel like full grown or um, there's just a lot more potential that they can grow into and this here is you know they're in a place now where they're really thinking about things really considering things you know starting to connect the dots based on their behavior and their actions and so there's some soul searching going on with this person right now um, Sagittarius and also this could have been somebody who just you know kind of treated you like you didn't matter um, that you were irrelevant just very short with the tongue not super emotional and now they're really starting to have a change of heart okay next out is the feminine of karmic energy so this could be um, earth so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, very strong female energy. Um, so I'm going to read this as a female. If it's a male, it would be a male who is very in tune with his divine feminine energies. Now, this right here is a more mature energy, typically somebody 30 years of age or older. And this person, Sagittarius, um, this, I mean, the title says it all, Feminine of Karmic Energy. This is more of a karmic relationship in your life. Um, and despite that, this person definitely does want to heal with you. But this is somebody who's probably put you through a lot. And it's just constant turmoil. And um, I don't know that it's really worth it at this point for you to reconcile this connection um, it almost feels like this karmic contract is complete and that's why the disconnection and separation is there all right so this person definitely wants to heal with you though and um, come back into your reality next out we have the divine masculine of thoughts um, articulate intellectual and sophisticated um, this is a masculine energy to me so I will refer to it as male could be an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius uh, mature 30 years of age or older um, but with this energy this is somebody who you know it could be prone to mentally manipulating you know using words to twist things around they're just very good with words uh, and like kind of thinking ahead you know they're really good at making moves that I feel kind of some manipulative and deceptive energy with this person and that might be you know what caused the rift or disconnection between the two of you and also they're feeling like I'm right and you're wrong like that's what I'm picking up from this person okay and last out we have the action of karmic energy okay Sag more karmic coming in um, this right here could be um, 
I'm sorry, earth. So you have like nothing but earth and air coming through. Well, it doesn't have to be those signs, but that's the energies that these people are predominantly operate from. Now, this person is somebody who wants to be in your life, Sagittarius, but this is somebody who is not willing to change or do much to improve themselves or the connection at all. It's just like, I want what I want and it doesn't matter the rest. Like, I'm not willing to lift a finger to make it happen. Like, you meet me, you, it's my way or no way. And so even though, like, this person could really be missing you and sad and everything, it's like they're so fixed in their self and it's like all about them because action of karmic energy is like, no, I will not change. I absolutely will not change and even if it brings me a lot of sadness, heartache and misery, you know, I'm just going to go with it because I'm always right and therefore my choices are right despite how I feel. So this is a very stubborn energy, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's pull some chakra cards here to see what's going on at a spiritual level like what these relationships and connections are about, what they're supposed to teach you, you know, what you're gaining from them, what these other people are gaining from you. And also, um, you know, this right here is usually where I start feeling the strongest um, energies for passed on loved ones trying to come through as well. Okay, so this right here, um, based on this lineup, this is like a bonus card, really, and this is all about the solar plexus chakra, Sagittarius, and this is inner strength. So every connection coming through in this reading right now, I know has put you through like hell and back, like a lot of heartache, a lot of lessons, a lot of trauma. Um, in each one of these people that are coming through wanting to connect and heal with you, Sagittarius. And ultimately, um, all of it is for inner strength for you. If you notice, like, this person's being cracked open. It's like a spiritual awakening as well. But it's all of this um, that you've gained from each one of these relationships has pushed you to be a stronger individual um, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Some of you realizing that you can stand on your own two feet if you lacked the confidence and security in that prior um, laying a foundation for yourself. Really, Sagittarius, it's like you've been learning how to have your own back. Um, because of all these connections coming in, it's pushed you to really have your own back, which is allowing like your inner self, a different version of yourself to break through. So let's pull more cards. All right, so with this um, ego energy, we have the heart chakra and play. So Sagittarius, this right here, I feel, um, was a connection and relationship that you took much more seriously and were more emotionally involved and connected than they were initially, okay? And it's like through your disconnection, they're really recognizing your value in their life, um, the way that you, know, that you made them feel, helped them grow, just who you are, your energy, your essence, like they're really missing that. And with play, this was like a very fun connection when it was like good. It's like you guys were best buddies. Um, you know, even if this was romantic, it's like you were a perfect match on some level and you had a lot of fun with each other. You could be silly. Um, you know, this could be a family member or friends, you know, and it's that same vibe. And um, I don't feel that they appreciated you enough, Sagittarius. And now through this distance and disconnection, they absolutely are filling your absence. Under this feminine of karmic, we have the truth, throat chakra. So Sagittarius, um, and look at, you know, she could also be a water sign because this is water energy on this side of the scale. And then um, we have fire on the other side. So this right here is so symbolic to me, Sagittarius, that this is a karmic relationship and you guys were balancing karma which had a lot to do with truth and like deception things along those lines um, that comes forward 
from previous life into this one. So whatever played out, Sagittarius had a lot to do with your past life together. And you had unfinished business, unresolved karma. And now to me, it's finally balanced. And there's a lot of truth um, that you've discovered about yourself, about that person, about life, just a lot in general, okay? And I just feel there was a lot of lies and deception with this particular person, but the karmic contract is complete. The scales have balanced, all right? Despite the fact that this person wants to heal with you. All right, under this divine masculine of thoughts, we have the third eye chakra, psychic development. And um, this relationship feels very strongly connected to this card, the inner strength, the, um, you know, the different version of you breaking through. Because with the psychic development, Sagittarius, those of you who are gifted spiritually um, with spiritual gifts, this particular connection and relationship, whatever's happened here, really is awakening you to your gift, okay? Growing it stronger or awakening it, awakening you to it for the first time. Um, or this particular relationship, the strength that you've gained is learning to trust your intuition, your insight, and your vibes over what anybody else is saying to you despite your connection, emotional attachment, history. Like this relationship taught you about red flags and learning to trust yourself over all else, okay? A lot of um, spiritual growth and development for Sagittarius found in this connection when it comes to this inner strength. Lastly, with this action of karmic energy, we have um, sacral chakra energy coming out, and this is relationships. So this one is also that karmic, okay, energy. And Sagittarius, what I feel there is that particular relationship and connection um, with the inner strength. And look at, this is very interesting. Um, we don't have the root chakra here, which typically is about karma, all right? But look at this red that we have up there, which is root chakra. There's the karma, all right? But then it goes um, sacral, solar, Th um, heart, throat, and then third eye. So these five chakras, Sagittarius, I feel are what have been getting grown and developed through each one of these relationships and connections for you guys, okay? Um, as far as passed on loved one, it could be any of these portals very strong through this divine masculine of thoughts, okay? And now as transition, because you see him there, well, yeah, look at that. Because in this card, like, you see the spotlight on him, like, embodied. And now, look, only in your hands in the crystal ball can you see him, like, walking into heaven, walking into the light. So, um, this one right here feels very strongly for a passed on loved one, okay? And um, in the transition of this person, they're really helping you. They're giving you a lot of insights, um, psychic foresight, you know, bringing you a lot of information. And if you've already gifted, it's like you're really getting expanded and grown by this person teaching you to trust your insights, okay? So whether embodied um, or passed on, like it's the same thing going on here. But ultimately, Sagittarius, these five chakras, I see being developed and grown through each one of these relationships and ultimately that's like what each one of them represents is growth to a specific chakra for you and this is karmic and now balanced okay this one i feel is going to come back together this one you know if embodied um i'm still on the fence on whether you guys come back together in you know a full reunion or not um but if passed on they are so with you that at the end um that action of karmic energy that relationship sagittarius um I feel is like the final like lesson or like piece to the puzzle in all this growth and development and probably one of the hardest for you um, out of what's coming through. And, you know, 
ultimately at the end of the day it brings you to a place of unconditional love and look at that I see the green um, the yellow and the orange and some red so that's like the first four chakras the shock the root the sacral solar and the heart chakra okay so yeah you received a lot of growth in those areas from this relationship although karmic okay uh, and the karmic in this sense, I don't feel like even if it played out terribly that you guys had bad negative karma to resolve. This is more like heavy life lessons to expand you both further, okay, in your developments. This one feels more of like that heavy karma that had to be balanced out. So let's pull some cards um, for, you know, unspoken messages or words in their heart to you or messages, okay, that's extra, or messages um, and information from others who are around you or them, uh, including your spirit guides. Wow, yeah, I think this one, it's time for that to just get out your life. Okay, under this inner strength heart, I miss you so much. Okay, so all of these connections Sagittarius really really miss you quite a bit all right like heartbroken um, sad wishes you back into their realm into their life into their world all right under this ego energy we have spirit guide you have work and growing to do right now this must be done while separated from each other so right there Sagittarius um, I feel there's more growth going on inside this person okay um, they they really have helped with your heart chakra um, you know because pain is what ultimately teaches us and grow with, grows us the most and this is the side Gaia's green and these are the green candles and this is where they came out so a lot of heart chakra work but also a lot of healing will come into this relationship and connection and it's just right now you guys um, have to walk your path separately to do your work alone but I really do feel like this can come back into a reconciliation okay so under this uh, feminine karmic heart are you ready to forgive me okay so yeah Sagittarius um, with this this person really wants back in your world but I just feel like the the scales are balanced and um, I don't feel that you really want them back into your world I mean you could but it's just like so much truth came out and I you know are you ready to forgive me I don't know that you are in the sense of I can forgive you and you could come back into my life it's like um, that more where you can forgive and forget and let it go so that you can move on and move forward under this divine masculine of thoughts we have some heart energy I don't show it so you don't know how special you are to me yeah distant kind of aloof not super emotional and um, it's there Sagittarius you are in their heart um, if this is an embodied person if this is a transitioned um, you know passed on loved one they didn't show you enough in this lifetime how much you matter to them and how special you truly were and they're letting you know that now all right over here under the karmic energy we have ego I blame you because it makes it easier for me it's hard for me to face the shadows within okay so yeah Sagittarius this one down here at the end um, no accountability like I said I will not change I don't want to change is what I'm getting from that person and um, you know I just feel like ugh, I don't know if you even want to deal with this anymore I feel like you've gained what you needed to learn from this connection with that person all right let's pull some more messages Alright, under the ego, I have, I punished you for my emotional baggage. I was wrong. This is some heart energy. Um, so we have spirit guide and heart energy, heart chakra. Yeah, this person is really um, have doing some soul searching and recognizing that, 
you know, the way that they treated you, the way things played out was very unfair to you and you did not deserve that. They just have some emotional baggage that they have to work and grow, um, grow through as coming out in the first card from the spirit guide. Next out with this feminine of karmic is some ego. I have emotional baggage and I am not over some part of my past. Okay, so more emotional baggage coming through Sagittarius. Are you seeing a theme here? How I said there's a lot of chakra work and each one of these relationships has made you stronger. In fact, your reading is the only one so far that I'm reading like this actually. So um, emotional baggage, emotional baggage, Sagittarius, that means there was some emotional baggage inside of you that you've been working through to overcome and release and purge as well because like attracts like, okay? This right here, I feel um, you are complete with this relationship. This one, I feel you guys are definitely going to come back together. Over here under the Divine Masculine of Thoughts is Ego. I'm selfishly motivated right now. So, um, even though you mean a whole lot, there's still, you know, they've got some work to do, Sagittarius, they really do. Um, they've got to break that ego, and as a passed on loved one, this is just another iteration of how they, you got the short end of the stick from this person in this life, like they didn't treat you fairly as they should and you know through their transition I just feel like you guys become stronger and healed because they're really helping you grow all right under this karmic we have your tribe you need to recover it's hard for me to see you hurting so much so people around you that know you Sagittarius it hurts them. It breaks their heart to see what this person has put you through and put you through. And, um, you know, the fact that you're not getting any positive cards on this side, like it's like, I won't change. I don't care how much you mean to me. I blame you for everything. Like what you go through because of this person is really hard for other people in your life who care about you to watch this unfold. Like they believe you deserve so much more and you know, it hurts them to see what happens here. And maybe for you guys, some of you have had people kind of pull back because you just stay wrapped up in this connection and they're like, it's so toxic. It's so bad for you, Sagittarius. Like you don't need all of that. Like you could do so much better. I so feel that with that um, lineup right there, Sag. Okay. So let's pull some more cards and gain some more insights about each one of these connections. All right, we just keep having cards flop out for this middle because I feel like all of this is connected. Like even if these people don't even know each other, like all of these are connected for you, for your growth in these areas of your chakras and then spirits breaking it down individually with these each connection. It's kind of neat actually. All right, so the jumpers for the middle are love and the finish so wow yeah look at that sign 1212 this is big time mastery you are completing Sagittarius and it's returning you to a place of innocence to your inner child to love okay so you are overcoming a lot of challenging relationships and connections in general it's been a while for you some of you you could have been at this for years okay because this is a big time completion of a cycle and you are about to expand into all the work you've been doing um, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. And this is just something that naturally happens. You know, some of you may be consciously aware of it. Others of you, you're just experiencing your life and your reality. And this is like you're coming to a big time completion and it's like your connections and your bonds and the way you get along with people is about to shift and come back into like roots and family and love and unconditional love and connection and bonding. Very beautiful. Okay, so under ego 
over here we have um, the reward sign 888 yes you guys are definitely going to heal and mend and come back together if you see repeating eights that is your sign synchronicity and symbol that this will mend this relationship will it's just a matter of time okay and um, they've got some growing to do they've got some emotional baggage to work through it's like you've been dealing with everybody's emotional baggage which has made them emotionally unavailable to you Sagittarius so you've been going through a lot of heartache and pain through connections some of you are like five ten years maybe even 12 or longer at uh, 16 right there it's like big growth to the chakra system a um, big expansion to just your spirit and your consciousness in general under this feminine of karmic, we have connections, sign Libra. Yeah, this is definitely um, a relationship that was near and dear to your heart, Sagittarius. Um, but again, I feel the karma is complete here. And um, you are a bigger, stronger, better person moving forward. Next out with this divine masculine of thoughts, we have before time, deja vu. Okay, again, really strongly for this being a passed on loved one, especially with this card coming out, um, deja vu. Yeah, you are being very much guided, given insights um, from this person if they have transitioned. Now, if they are still embodied, this right here, Sagittarius, tells me that you guys have um, more contracts to work through this lifetime and it doesn't have to be negative okay you could move into a very positive connection and reunion this person has some emotional baggage to work through first but um, very much connected soulmate energy with this person lastly at the end we have beyond time and we have sign of coins so Sagittarius this karmic energy right here um, very intense stuff you guys had a lot to work through and I feel like that's why it's affected you some of you it could have really affected your finances your job your career um, you know just things along those lines now if this is somebody who has passed on and transitioned um, Sagittarius like they definitely acknowledge what they put you through and they're telling you listen um, you need to recover from what I did to you so that you can have healthy relationships again. And um, they're definitely projecting energy and doing, you know, what they can do to help you, Sagittarius, heal and recover from what they put you through um, while they were embodied. And finding coins is a sign, synchronicity, and symbol from them that they're walking with you because despite what it was when they transitioned, when they go back to the non-physical, their vantage point changes. They see things from a much different um, perception than they did while embodied. And so this energy transition is like acknowledging the devastation, the heartache, the harm that they put you through. And they're trying to heal you, okay? And your connection, um, the everything that played out is beyond time it's karma that came from previous lifetime you know that has to be worked out that has to be resolved but this was like in such a big way to where it would be so like dramatic to you that I'm telling you Saggy, like your whole chakra system has had a huge upgrade from all of these challenging relationships and connections that you have um, faced and dealt with so let's pull some tarot cards and get some more information all right so this action of ego, we have the Knight of Wands. So there is um, a lot of growth taking place for this person at the soul level rather rapidly. Okay, Sagittarius, and you might hear from them unexpectedly. Yeah, because look at what's out next. The Empress, this is a new beginning. This is fertility, um, you know, growth, prosperity. So this relationship definitely, I feel, is going to heal once this person kind of has their stuff together a bit more. This karmic, we have the nine of wands. Um, you know, this 
person taught you a lot as well long journey for you um, you have some wounds and scars but Sagittarius you are so much more grown and stronger from everything you've been through with this um, particular person and yeah look at you guys you have an ace but it's the ace of swords you can cut yourself off from this person the scales have balanced the karma is complete and you are free Sagittarius even though they want to heal with you, um, maybe you could just, uh, I'm sorry, you know, hear the words and give each other peace and closure and move on, move forward, because I just, you, you are done. You are complete with this. Over under this masculine of um, thoughts, we have the hermit. So soul searching, a lot of time and distance between the two of you. And it's um, been a big, heavy burden and challenge, I feel, um, for both of you. The absence of each other, um, you know, soulmate energy going on here. But with this finish, like, I feel whatever is going on with this person, like, you are at the end of that as well. You are about to complete that cycle that, um, you know, part of your journey, especially feeling like you're walking alone, carrying all the burden, all the heartache, as if, you know, you're forgotten and you're not Sagittarius, you're not, because they still carry a torch for you as well, whether it's a friend, family member, you know, romance, they still have a lot of emotion for you, and if they're embodied, I really feel like you guys can come back together like this relationship has a high potential to heal um, if this is passed on loved one they're really helping you through this last part of the journey before the finish where you are struggling the most they're right there with you okay um, a lot of soul growth and soul searching taking place in both of you based on your connection and just everything that's happened lastly look at this four of swords um, it's like it's time for this relationship to come to an end to be at a rest because Sagittarius you really need to heal and recover from everything that you've been through in this connection last out um, six of cups yeah you definitely need to heal um, this connection I feel means like so much more to you I don't want to say than it does to them but it's like they're not willing to change to do anything to make things better between the two of you they're just not Sagittarius and a story doesn't matter the history between the two of you doesn't matter the connection the bond the love whatever it's like they are very closed and they won't change. If you want to come back to them and be in their world and live by their standards, cool. I love you. Come back in. If um, you are waiting on them to reach out to you or to change, you're going to be waiting the rest of your life. Like They are just very fixed in their energy and um, they don't care. Like There's no sense of remorse or loss for them. It's just like, I feel like they kind of just, this is who they've been all their life to all their relationships and people always come back to them and Sagittarius, I just feel like um, you don't need to, like what they've put you through is way too much. You've gained your lessons and you're ready to expand and grow and move on from that person. So let's pull some cards here to see um, what can help these relationships heal and mend or what can help you heal and mend so you can just let go and move on if that's what needs to happen. All right, under the ego energy we have even if we still stop, feel stuck, there is always a way out. That's so beautiful. Sagittarius, this is like don't give up hope. Don't give up faith. You and this person are going to heal and mend. Um, they're going to surprise you. Okay? Just have faith and belief in that. Next out, um, under this karmic feminine, we have savor all moments in life. And this right here, Sagittarius, is spirit coming in saying, listen... Despite what's happened, 
savor the good that you experienced with this karmic and all the lesson that you have gained and learned because I'm telling you, whatever it was, you are resolved with this person. The scales are balanced. You do not need, like, um, even if, you know, you're like, what well, they deserve bad karma for what they did to me. That karma doesn't come from you, okay? You are complete with them, and it's time for you to eat your cake and smile and move forward and savor where you're at right now today. Over here under this divine masculine of thoughts, allow the tree branches to reach out and hug you. Oh my gosh, okay. Passed on loved one, there you go. Like, um, let their wisdom and their love touch you now because when they were embodied, they really struggled with that. But here they are in the non-physical, you know, guiding you, protecting you, showing you the way, giving you so much love. Um, also, with this here, if this person is embodied, Sagittarius, open your energy to them. Doesn't mean you have to reach out to them, okay? But open your energy to them because it says, you know, reach out and hug you. Like, they really do want to heal with you. They miss you a lot. And this last, um, get lost in the sound of music with this karmic energy, to me, Sagittarius, this is like you need to clear your vibration of them. Um, listening to different frequencies and sounds will help with that, like sound therapy, Reiki, um, you know, healing meditations for release of trauma, heartache, and pain would be so helpful for you to, you know, get out of this, whatever it is for you, because, man, this just is not good stuff down there. Um, and so, Sagittarius, I am going to pull um, a Messages from Heaven card for each one of these personalities. And this card will either represent, um, you know, a message and confirmation for you that this is a passed on loved one, if that's how you've been picking it up, picking up on it. Um, otherwise, this is um, advice being given to you by a passed on loved one about each one of these connections, okay? So, let's pull some cards and see what comes through with Sagittarius. All right, under this ego energy, we have, I have no earthly, I have no more earthly worries. So this right here, Sag, if this is a person who has transitioned, um, you know, clearly they lived their life a bit immaturely and recklessly, you know, and that could have caused a lot of pain for you. But now I have no earthly worries. All these sunflowers, like they're in a good place and they're guiding you and sunflowers are highly um, significant and synchronistic of them, you know, and also I see it on this Empress dress. It's like, um, you know, if they transitioned, they passed on, they passed on as this knight of um, wands, but through that transition, now they are this empress energy in the non-physical, you know, nurturing you, growing you, turning you into the sunflower. And, you know, whatever was wrong here is not wrong there, and they're doing very well. Now, as extra advice about um, this situation, you know, if this is an embodied person, it's like, um, you know, trust the process of their soul growth and their evolution, and that's what will bring you guys back together, okay? Next out, under this karmic, we have, I am just a thought away. So if um, this is transitioned karmic energy, um, this person is still working with you, giving you love, and maybe the scales are balancing in that capacity that way, where, you know, this soul is projecting you a lot of love and light and protection, you know, and letting you know I'm just a thought away, whatever you're thinking about, um, you're trying to manifest for yourself, I'm projecting and trying to help you with that. Um, as an embodied person, yeah, I really feel like this person wants to come back into your world, Sagittarius, and, you know, projects a lot of thoughts and emotions towards you. But again, the scales are balanced, and I just don't feel like you need what this person's teaching or giving anymore. Like, you've grown, you've overcome it. This divine masculine of thoughts. Wow, look at that. I see all of your thoughts. So as transitioned loved one, um, you know, 
very much still a part of your reality and trying to protect you and guide you, bring you clarity, healing, and understanding, especially to your mental body. Um, but also as advice, if this person is embodied, this to me is letting you know they are so mental based, okay, this person. And um, their thoughts can kind of overwhelm them. They can overanalyze things. Um, they get very caught up in their head. And so it might make them quite indecisive. And that might be part of the problem that you guys have faced in the past. Um, but it's just like they're really up in their head and they need to drop much more down into their heart space. And lastly, and you know, also with that, there could be a bit of a telepathic connection going on, Sagittarius, between you and this person. And lastly, with the karmic on the end, although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. So if they have transitioned, um, you know, it could have left you very confused and hurt and angry. And this is saying, listen, Sagittarius, it all happens for a reason and you know maybe they send you messages through different songs and because you can relate to that um, so it's like even though you may not understand it eventually it's going to make sense to you why everything played out the way that it did now if this is advice about a person who's still embodied Sagittarius it's much the same as like eventually you're going to understand why this connection was what it was, what it taught you and why it had to end the way that it did. And you're going to be good. Okay. You're going to be able to let go and move on from this. It's all going to eventually make sense to you. So Sagittarius, those are your messages. Um, before I end the video, I just want to say for those of you who truly are desiring to heal with somebody, whether that person is at fault or you're at fault, it doesn't really matter. Um, what you can do is, you know, put the healing prayer out there to the universe. So clear your mind and then focus your energy and love towards the person that you want to heal with. And, you know, say to yourself or out loud, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And repeat it, you know, several times and then go about your day and do it several times throughout the day. And then again, you know, before you're falling asleep, because Sagittarius, that's putting your intention out to the universe. And um, you're either going to heal and come back into a union with this person or you are going to be able to heal enough inside yourself so that you can let this connection relationship go and it no longer hurts you or makes you feel bad so that you can move on, okay? So Sagittarius, those are your messages. I'm wishing you guys all the best. Take care.